Okay, here's a follow-up. We just had a huge flash flood. And you can see over there by the fence, that's where the gravel perforated pipe wrapped in fabric is. And where I'm standing right here is the easy flow. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let's take a look at which system works the best. We've got gravel perforated pipe surrounded by fabric and the easy flow. Both these systems were installed in the same yard. Here's some footage from that original install. So what we're going to do is here in this trench, we're going to run gravel perforated pipe surrounded by fabric, which is normal here in Florida. Um, sand, the small pieces of sand, they definitely you know, get into the gravel. At least that's what I've been telling you, right? So over here on this one, and over here on this one, we're going to run some easy flow. That's my pipe I like to use here, especially along the foundation. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a little test, see which one actually flows the best. So we've got a French drain. This is a geofabric wrap French drain. We've got a base of gravel underneath the four inch perforated pipe. Then we've got, you know, the four inch pipe. And then we've probably got about, I don't know, six inches of gravel on top of that. And it's running all the way down. We're gonna go ahead and fold it over and cover it up and put the sod back on and let it rain. Okay, so there you have it. We've got this French drain that is totally fabric encased and it's pinned it looks so good look at that that looks just I mean it's outstanding you can see we've got pins pushing it holding it all together that is really one outstanding looking piece okay, of fabric. so here's our NDS quick flow easy drain remember this is perforated pipe encased with the aggregate which is the packing peanut, it's a very dense packing peanut, and it's got the uh, geofabric you know, all around it. It's very self-contained, real easy for the homeowner to do, or a contractor for that matter. Okay, here's the comparison. On this catch basin, there is a section of easy flow. And on this catch basin over here, there is gravel perforated pipe and you can see how flooded this area is okay there's actually another catch basin right here see that water going down and gravel perforated pipe comes out to about here but look at the difference you see that gravel perforated pipe is surrounded with a wrapped in a fabric gravel perforated pipe wrapped in a fabric Look at the difference. This is easy flow over here. And it's working really good. In my opinion, in the sand, there's no better system than the easy flow. Yes, this is taking water, but actually it's taking most of the water in the catch basin. You can see how flooded this area is. There's where the gravel perforated pipe is. It's not getting through that fabric. This section is really drying out quick. And let's look at that discharge real quick. And you can see it. It's still pushing water. Even though it's underwater here at the swale, it's still taking that water out. There's so much water in the ground, so much water. When we get rainfall here in Florida, it's tremendous. And this was probably about four to five inches in less than 30 minutes. But look at the difference. Again, here is gravel perforated pipe wrapped in a fabric. You can see it. Most of that water is going into that catch basin. It's not going through here. Why? Because the fabric is packed tight with sand. But look over here. Here's the catch basin, and you can see there's a little bit of water here, but not much. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Step back so you can see it. 
They're both, both systems are working great. They're taking all that water and within just during this video, it's almost completely dry. Both systems, they're working great. Which one would I use in, in the sand? I'm going to use the Easy Flow every time. It works so much better than gravel perforated pipe, at least in the sand. Okay, take a look. It's been about 20 minutes and you can see it's pretty pretty gone right here. There's still some water standing right over here on this side. But look what's happened over here on the Easy Flow side. <laughs> it is gone. I mean, even the areas. Remember I've said that a French drain should be able to pull water from about 15 feet away. And you can see that's just totally gone over there, all of it. And in fact, it's pulling water from this side, from the gravel perforated pipe surrounded by fabric, wrapped in fabric. And you can still see that water over here. It's, there's lots of water here in the ground. Lots and lots. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. We're inside of a storm drain that is downtown under a bridge, under the railroad tracks, and there's a road right beside us. Take a look at what happens when it rains hard and it floods. Thank you.